Welcome to Total Carp Fishing TV. Today you join me on the bank, not in the traditional bivvy that we'd normally be on the bank, but I am on the bank and I'm going to show you something that I absolutely love. And it's in this bag here. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in this bag is something that I use quite often and it's possibly the thing that I get most excited about on the bank other than catching fish. Now this is the Stoven from New Direction and yes, you might have already figured it out, stove and oven Stoven. Basically, it's a really, really neat way of cooking your food properly, having a decent meal whilst you're on the bank. So let's get it out, let's check it all out and see how it works. So, as you can see, it comes in this nice pack away bag and it all comes packed down together. There's lots of little bits and bobs that will go through together. Firstly, let's get it out of the bag. So these are all the key components that make the stoven itself. As you can see, it folds down nicely, which means packing it away, it doesn't take up too much space at all. So New Direction do say that this can be built in under a minute, so I'm gonna give it a go. Let's do it. There we go. Now, I will admit that took me a little bit longer than usual because I haven't used it for a while, but it didn't take me very long at all. The last bit to do then is put in these metal rods which are where all the flame comes out of, which is nice and easy to do. Slots into there and it's got a nice little locking mechanism that keeps it in place. And the same with the top. Final bit to do is connect the pipes and then we can connect it directly to the gas canister. So there it is, all together and ready to go. As you can see, it's got a nice design and when we take the door off, you can see that at the moment it's got two layers, two trays where I can cook different bits of food. So before I talk a bit more about the details of the stoven itself, I'm gonna cook myself a bit of lunch. I think that's what's needed on this cold and damp day. So as you can see, there are two different pipes to the bottom and the top of the stoven. The bottom provides the gas to the lower pipe, which gives the heat in the lower half. And the top pipe provides the gas to the top section of the stoven, which is where you, you boil your kettle or put a pan on. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the bottom half. I'm gonna put the, the Bombay potatoes in there for 25 minutes and we're gonna see how well it cooks it. I mean, I already know it's gonna be good because I've used it before. So as you can see, I've lit just the bottom section. I'm gonna place in my potatoes just in there and then put that lid that door back on the front there we go and that temperature dial will actually tell me how hot it's getting how quick so I can adjust the temperature from here right guess we just got to wait for the food now so let's start off with the construction of the stoven itself it's all stainless steel, so it's really hygienic and very easy to wash. You can actually take apart all the elements and put them in the dishwasher if that's how you wanted to wash it. But from what I've found, it's really easy to clean, so that's never been an issue at all. The next part of the construction that I want to mention is that it all locks into place. You've got some security pins down at the bottom and then all the elements from the side and the top lock into place. So you know that it's gonna be completely secure whilst you're cooking. The next really good feature about this is, like I said earlier, it is completely multifunctional. So you can have your stove going on the top, boiling your kettle or frying your eggs whilst you've got something in the bottom cooking at the same time. It means if you've got a bit of a social or you've got more people to feed or you just like a lot of food whilst you're on the bank, then this will give you that opportunity to cook more at once, which in essence means less time cooking and more time eating, which is bang on really. Another key point to mention, when you're cooking, it's super safe and simple to use. You're not gonna get any flames that are actually directly touching the food as it's got a fire cover on the bottom. And this is really handy because it means you're not gonna charcoal your food whilst it's cooking. 
So the Stubborn itself also comes with a range of accessories which makes things a whole lot easier. You've got this handle for the bottom tray which is really useful because it means you're not going to burn your hand when pulling it out. You've then got a PVC mat which you can also use to prevent any heat escaping from the bottom. A little rubber glove and then an electric lighter. Now I would have used this today, but annoyingly it is out of charge. But this is really handy, it means you don't have to put your hand in there whilst you're trying to light the two bars. You can simply place this in, press a button and you're done. Absolute dreams. And then finally, you've got the deluxe bag, which does have a bit of padding to it, which means you're not gonna damage the stubborn during transit. In terms of dimensions of the Stubborn, when it's all put together, it's got a length of 25 centimetres, a width of 20 centimetres, and a height of 29 centimetres. And it comes in at 5.1 kilograms. So it's not very sizable at all, and it makes life so much more comfortable whilst you're on the bank. Now, the last thing to really mention is the price of the Stubborn. It does come in at 179 pounds. So it's definitely not the cheapest thing on the market, but like I say, it's one of those items that really does make life a lot more comfortable whilst you're on the bank. So I guess the next thing to do is get the food out, see how it's cooked, and get on with it. Wait.